Sound English Podcast Number One A Jingle Jungle Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Everybody knows it, right? This Christmas song, though it's not technically a carol, but a memoir of a winter race, has been known over the years as one of the most popular musical backgrounds of Christmas holidays. Being sound is annoying, it's still cool, isn't it? Each and every child hears it every year, even children in very different countries. But what if this tune runs across some, let's say, geographical obstacles? What if you can't dash through the snow because there's no snow? Let's try to find the answers in the very first episode of Sound English Podcast. Sound English Podcast Number 1 A Jingle Jangle Welcome, I'm Bartek and unlike another famous Bart, Bart Simpson, I'm a grown-up. Still, I'd like to go back to the childhood times when Jingle Bells was actually one of the first songs I've ever heard in English. Back then, I wasn't thinking about my fellow peers in different parts of the world, but if you give it some thought, the lyrics aren't universal, since not everywhere can you find snow in December, right? Reindeers and horses also aren't sometimes eager to soak in the sun or be stuck in barbecue smoke. Fortunately, creative people who love Christmas found a solution. Let's see how the singers in hot countries recreated a classic tune so it actually fits the different locations and cultures. Obviously, we will focus on English-speaking country, but firstly, let's brush up on the original English version. There are a few of them, but let's pick the most popular. I guess you might spot the phrases and elements that don't suit everywhere in the world. Let's hear original Jingle Bells. Dashing through the sun And the one who's open sleigh Over the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells and pop there's ring Making spirits bright What if I the right to sing a sleigh song tonight Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Have you spotted? Snow, open sleigh, wild ground. It's cool as long as it's true. If it's not, you need to act because neither kids nor adults like being fooled, right? The version we're gonna consider comes from the land down under or with no colloquialisms from Australia. The Aussies, how do you live and sing with no snow? A version written by a very well-known Australian musician Colin Buchanan will give us some answers. Let's start with the first Australian verse. Dashing through the bush in a rusty holden ute Kicking up the dust, esky in the boot Kelpie by my side Singing Christmas songs, it's summertime and I am in my singlet shorts and thongs. Oh, jingle. The first verse, very clever, isn't it? Snow became bush, and I guess it doesn't need any more explanation. No snow, no problem. Holy Youth replaced the old nut gold sleigh, which anyway wouldn't probably cope with all the sounds. What is it? The kind of pickup truck, very popular out there. It's even better with SK and the boot. Why? Because SK is a portable cooler for sodas, beers and other drinks. Another wisely replaced feature is a bobtail aka a bobtail bay that in Aussie version becomes a Kelpie. Australian cattle dog, also known as AKD. 
Hell yeah, or an Australian bloody off. Let's move to the chorus as we're in singlet, shorts and thongs. Meet no excuse in Australia. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Christmas in Australia on a scorching summer's day. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, Christmas time is beautiful. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a rusty old and you. Cool, eh? First line of the chorus is original, probably to avoid the need of changing the title, right, Colin? The second one, though, is obviously different. No holes in the sleigh, but good rusty holding you in a scorching, so boiling hot Australian summer. Start the engine, Santa! Engine's getting hot, dodge the kangaroos, sway climbs aboard. He is welcome too, all the family is there, sitting by the pool, Christmas day, the Aussie way, by the barbecue, oh, jingle bells. No battles, no competition, stress, pure relaxation, by the barbecue, next to the pool with your family, even a swag is welcome. Swagmen as they were poor individuals of economic depression carrying all their belongings in the back of their backs will be more than happy to join. Swagmen had no swag as we know it today. They had nothing except for the sun. What more can we learn about this wonderful, friendly Aussie family? Come the afternoon, Grandpa has a doze, the kids and Uncle Bruce are swimming in their clothes. The time comes round to go, we take a family snap, then pack the car and all shoot through before the washing up. After the party, elderly ones have a dose, so a nap, and the rest is swimming in the clothes, as anyway they don't have too much on. To keep this Christmas day entirely happy, we only need to take a photo, hear a snap, and shoot through, so get out before the washing up starts. As simple as that. And Uncle Bruce? They say that every Australian has one. Sound English Podcast. That's it for the starters. I hope you learned something with us from Sound English Podcast. If you're nosy, lucky you. If not, keep your heart and soul warm, even in the winter. If you want to learn something interesting about another scorching version of Jingle Bells, Google the one from New Zealand. It's not as cool as Australian, but still worth checking. Last but not least, we want to thank Colin Buchanan for these wonderful lyrics. Useful phrases and words are A rusty holding youth, Esky, Calpy, Singlet, Shorts, and Tongues, Scorching, Swaggy, Aussie, Dull, Snub, and Shoot Through. Rewind the podcast to remember what they mean. And have a beautiful Merry Christmas. Sound English Podcast. To be continued. Check us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube.